Hello everyone. Oh, I'm using the other mic this time around. So how are things going out there? And I forgot to do something real fast with my uh, setup here. I need to launch my chat box that I use to keep an eye on everybody talking with me. Let's see here. Get that up and going. There we go. I can see people's chatting with me. Hey, no comments. Hey, I got a question for you, no comments. Uh, you're always wanting to sit there and criticize me and all that stuff. You ever want to get the itching feeling to like hop onto the live stream and chew me out or anything like that? Like join me in, like Google Hangouts or something like that. And you just go off and I get to listen to you and then uh, go back and forth with some banter, blood sports. But uh, yeah, tonight's or this morning's or whatever, wherever you are in time zone wise. Uh thing it's gonna be a little bit of a mixture of all kinds of stuff we're gonna look at uh, DHS memo 2010 and people being idiots with it and uh, I'm located in uh, over in uh, Oregon man uh, but uh, deal with that uh, then we're gonna go over a little bit of drama that could turn into some blood sports enjoyment later on Depending if uh, one of the challengers, well, one of the people really decides to step in and go ahead and go back and forth with banter, it'll, it'll be quite the interesting thing, especially you'll get to learn a little bit more of my political leanings and where I may have disagreements with my blue hair and on certain aspects of uh, uh, our political outlooks and stuff like that. And then followed up, we're going to look at some, uh, we're going to have some fun with hit films. I'm actually going to work on doing a little background play animation stuff for... Uh, in hit film so you get an idea how I'm using uh, hit film and how you can use it too for just basic simple video editing and so this way you can sit there and go oh okay I see this you can do that um, impromptu it's a middle of the night kind of thing I end up sleeping a good portion of yesterday after doing tons of errands yesterday well day before yesterday there on Monday it's now Wednesday here require dormant liberals to post signs on their apartments workplace <laughs> oh that's interesting yeah, but uh, no comments needs to call BB. Well, I mean, no comments can easily pop in the Discord there. And uh, if I'm looking at the right moment, you'll be able to, I can pull them in and we can have some fun. I love my blood. I love my blood sports. Come at me. I, I have no problem taking on the haters and the challengers to some extent. As long as they're not getting overly bad with uh, uh, accusations and stuff well getting defamatory and stuff like that I'll allow certain things to play to a certain amount but in general I'm gonna, I'll allow you to go ahead and come at me let's see yeah I'm pretty sure he'll hop right in I, I agree with you on that one we, we are all pretty sure that's actually not gonna happen but you know what I'm in the mood I'm just gonna throw down the gauntlet at anything I don't care if I win or lose at this point I just want to have some fun <laughs> Joshua's still hung over from the bar hopping. Yeah, well, it turns out also I ended up missing out on the Reddit game night. I wasn't paying attention to the Eugene Reddit there, so uh, I missed the game night when I did the bar hopping. But, oh well. It was uh, still fun hanging out and doing pool with you guys. Maybe I can get some of the local um, live streamers or someone local, uh, a local group going where we make it a weekly uh, a weekly thing or bi monthly thing where we go and hang out. We'll have extra people to hang out with and associate they can plug their stuff and sort of leech off my views and if they got a, a viewership or whatever maybe we'll they'll, i'll leech off of them a little bit but i think i'm probably the biggest one of the biggest games in the town when it comes to uh live streaming and video uh well video production and stuff like that but let's go ahead and get into the fun little meaty things here and transition this over here so this way you guys can see the window that I'm going to be working with for the citations uh, if you want to follow me in that that should be in the description of the YouTube video um, if not you guys should be able to see it in the uh, top bar there for uh, the URL if you got it maxed out on the uh, other platforms and mixer periscope and all that stuff oh yeah and today's intro music was of course again by techno acts primal tuning I actually like that it's a recent song you just came out with and I fit felt it sort of uh, fit for today's beginning parts of discussion with uh, with today's show here. So let us go ahead and get started. Now, as is, a lot of people cite DHS 2010 memo. 
for uh, the filming of various things. And it gets used in the wrong ways many times, well, quite often in the last uh, several weeks, I have noticed. And I've harped on people about this, and I'll probably be making other live streams and videos specifically about this. But, as I'm sitting here looking at it, <clears throat> well, I got it pulled up here, an archive version. We, the big part of the meat of this is specifically dealing with Title 41, Section 10, uh, 1002. 74.420 which specifically states well it has the title what is the policy concerning photographs for news advertising or commercial purposes and as it states at the start here except where security regulations rules orders or directives apply or federal court order or rules prohibit it persons entering in or on federal property may take photographs of Space occupied by tenant agency for non-commercial purposes, only with the permission of the occupying agency. Space occupied by tenant agency for commercial purposes, only with written permission of an authorized official of the occupying agency. And building entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, atrium, auditoriums for news purposes. Now the thing is, is quite often uh, when we do our First Amendment testing, auditing, or whatever, we fall within section C within the limits of security regulations, rules, orders, directives, or federal court orders or rule prohibits it. AKA local rules at a federal courthouse is a good, a good example. And when it comes to security regulations, rules, orders, and directives, those are in black and white. Those are written down somewhere. So if you have uh, them trying to tell you uh, in a federal building that they, it's against the rules or whatever to film get the copy and if they point you to this to this right here and they say nothing else that means obviously they don't have it written down and whatever they're stating is a lie or they don't know the facts on it but oftentimes, I, and I've encountered this before, where they'll sit there and point to this. Well, here's the deal. Entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors. That's the hallways right there. Corridors, foyers, and lobbies. That's the uh, general waiting areas and stuff like that in most cir circumstances. Auditoriums is pretty much where they um, have all the speaking events or whatever. Or some sort of uh, stuff like that. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to fix something real fast before doing this. I really need to make a checklist before live streaming because I just realized I'm not using the desktop, uh, desktop setting. So all that just got reset for the chat thing, but there was only one thing displaying, so that will be fixed here in a moment. APNP, do you hear, someone that, uh, hear that someone's here is spreading rumors? I would not be surprised if someone's spreading rumors. There's always people spreading rumors. Let's see. But uh, anyway, getting back on track here. This is the big caveat here when we're dealing with stuff. You have to keep in mind what the law says. And the thing is, I'm guilty for getting this wrong too at the start. It took me time to realize my mistake and start correcting myself on this. Yes, I got this wrong at the start. I'm admitting I was wrong on something. Once more. And you'll find out I'm wrong on quite a few things. That's why I say... Take a look at the citations. Look at it yourself. Understand it. But when I'm actually looking at the black and white kind of stuff and I start realizing what it is, I can tell you without a doubt, there's certain, uh, you, you have to pay attention to this start area right here. So let us go on ahead and look at example number one of something going wrong. And here's the thing, I'm going to point this out publicly because there's no way I can sit down and correct every single person that's out there doing this and getting it wrong. So sorry, the California citizens watch. Yes, I'm going to harp on you for this one, but you made yourself a prime example for a lesson that needs to be taught to everybody. Take the criticism in stride and prove upon yourself. But we need to, let's go ahead and look exactly where this goes wrong here. First, and then we'll sort of go over the entire example. The lens cannot be trespassed on my eyes if you guys want that blocked. If you want that blocked right there, you guys have to put up blinds because we have something in the door to block it. In 
anything that's in public view, DHS 2010, I'm allowed to record, officer. So don't come up. Okay, now here is the problem. This is not a, uh, this is not a federal building. This is a local police department. San Diego Police Department, Western Area Station. The federal memo in CFR 102-74.420 does not apply to municipal, state, and county buildings. This applies to federal buildings. So, we've seen this time and time again. Other people have tried to use this. I can't remember who tried using this over at SpaceX, which is a private company. Yes, they contract with the federal government on quite a few things, but that doesn't make them an actual federal agency or anything like that. They're still a private company kind of thing. And the CF and this CFR and this DHS memo does not apply to them. So this is why you need to be smart about things. Now, there is legitimate issues within this little tyrant alert in a way, but it, I don't think it climbs to the rise of a tyrant alert kind of situation here. So, and you get, the problem is, is also people are getting overboard with the whole tyrant alert stuff. You want to save it for when something bad does happen. They put you in handcuffs. They scuff you up a little bit. They push you out the building. Don't save it for if you, uh, well, go off tyrant alert just because someone says something about you can't film here. You, you can't be quick on the draw here. So let's go ahead and let's play this from right about here. So this way we get a little bit better context of the entire situation. Stop videotaping until for safety reasons. That's, so, that's, that's hold on. Let's, here we go. Stop videotaping until I ask him about, okay? Uh, no, actually, that's okay, officer. I know actually, that's actually, no, I'm going to ask you to stop videotaping until for safety reasons. That's, so, that's, that's, in, that's an no, invalid request, no, officer. No, it's not. For safety it reasons, is. I don't know why you're videotaping. Okay, officer, for officer I'll... safety, I would ask you to please stop recording. Okay, are you done? Can I talk now? No. You're not going to allow me to talk? No, I'm not done. I would like to ask you okay, to stop recording. Okay, guys, let the call flood like, begin. Like Tyrant alert. Get your supervisor, please. And here's the thing. He's just telling him he can't film in there. This doesn't really warrant a tyrant alert, in my opinion. And PNP agrees on this part, uh, if you see his chat uh, there. I will. Thank you. Tyrant? Oh, you know, I'll get your name and badge number when you return. Wow. Okay, you know what? You guys, go ahead and start calling. Do you have the phone numbers? <laughs> Okay, we're going to skip ahead a little bit here for when the officers return. Still walking the dog. <clears throat> Officer, can I get your name and badge number, please? Okay, here we go. Guys. Can I do it for you? So, uh, Officer, can I get your name and badge number, please? 5668. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Okay. How about you, Officer? Lieutenant Docs. Thanks, Lieutenant. So, your officer needs to be informed that the lens cannot be trespassed on my eyes. If you want that blocked right there, you guys have to put up blind or put up something in the door to block it. Anything that's in public view, DHS 2010, I'm allowed to record, officer. So don't come up with your tyrant or make me up, make up laws and want to be stuffed and tell people to do stuff that's not lawful, okay? I'm sure the lieutenant will take you back and re-inform you. If you want some video, YouTube more obey and watch the chief of police lose his job this week because of your actions the way you act. Hopefully your lieutenant will re-educate you and hopefully you'll keep your job. You seem to be like a good officer. We want good first responders. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Anything else? No, you're doing good. Beautiful place, man. Everything's great. I was just looking, reading the sign, and he went off. And he can't do that. Well, you have to understand it's kind of out of the ordinary. And there have been a lot of, a lot of murders of officers lately, if people correct me. No, there hasn't really been a lot of murder of officers. Direct targets where people go out of their way to target a police officer and murder them is really low when compared to many other crimes across the country. 
as is you're more a, a police officer is more likely to get killed by lightning than they are to get hit, killed by a uh, a direct tar uh, target thing on average i think it's about almost like five or six people a month die from lightning and it increases when summer hits and that is all that's just like the general average i don't think cops are getting murdered targeted murdered in that to retrograde uh, retrospect we'd be hearing more about it in the media so let us go ahead and continue there, there's always again the day and age statement that well and i again i come from law enforcement background so i i fully understand that and and that's the reason why i'm one of the different auditors i'm not all up in your face and doing this other stuff i usually mirror the same image the other thing was is he's barking our commands and then refused what did i ask you what did you ask me yes. no you told me i have to stop recording now so I to no back. sir you did not listen i've got everything one two three okay. and now audio okay. document is there anything else we can do for you? no we'll be back i'm sure you're going to get phone calls it, it's a shame Thanks, guys. You guys have a great day. You don't feel silly. I'm going to be back out back checking your uh, other officers coming in. Oh, also, you've got a detective vehicle in a gray uh, caravan with illegally tinted windows and none, no front license plate. You guys ain't above the law, including including your undercover vehicles. Everybody has to abide. Matter of fact, that sort of makes them stand out even worse. Okay. Thank Thanks, you. guys. Okay. Now, the thing is, I'm not even sure what the hell's going on with Morrow Bay. I don't, and... We don't even know if he's lost his... That, I don't even know if that police chief has lost his job. So I would love to see a citation on that one. The thing is, don't go in there... Try. Well, my recommendation, don't go in there being hot, hot and mighty. Thinking you're above everything. When you do this kind of stuff. Especially when you spout out wrong information like that. It makes you look stupid. Now, he's got right... He's right on... You're, you can't trust past the eyes. And pretty much that same concept applies to the camera too in public spaces and there's on top of that there is California law that protects uh, videographers and photographers and stuff like that so he might want to study up on those laws study up on the case laws in the Ninth Circuit uh, that covers this uh, whatever the ones out of there the one out of Seattle and the one out of Guam there I think it was so as is be smart about it use the laws that apply don't sit there and parrot everything that you, well, parrot stuff that you hear and never looked up yourself. That is the biggest problem. The United States is a very large country. There is a lot of people, a lot of activists all over the country in different jurisdictions and doing different things at different locations. Different laws, different regulations apply to each one of those locations. While not all of them are unique, there is enough variety in changes of those kinds of laws and applications of how it works that it will not apply uniformly across the board. You want to make sure it applies to your situation. This is why now that I'm down here in Oregon, I have to research the Oregon laws about the various situations I'll be putting myself into. Not an easy task, especially after I went through a huge daunting task of learning a bunch of stuff up in Alaska. Learn your laws for your given area. Learn the laws and regulations that apply for the situation you're going to put yourself into. If you're going to do open carry, learn the laws on firearms. If you're going to film inside federal buildings or film the federal buildings, learn the laws and regulations around federal buildings. If you're going to be dealing with municipal and state, uh, state police stations and law enforcement agencies, learn the laws that are going to apply to those situations. Yes, it's easy to go and film the outside. There's not much you have to need, uh, need to know if you're going to film the outside. But the moment you start walking into the building, different laws and regulations apply for, to those situations. And they can be very greatly. Now, here's another one that put, went out uh, earlier, well, the other day, a few days ago, whatever, which is quite interesting. Now, this one... There is legitimacy with the argument, but the problem is it's very gray and muddy. Now, this person, um, Jay Payne, 39, they went into a social security building to uh, go pick up some documents or whatever um, that they need for another person. Uh, it's, it's glad they are actually able to edit the video and fix it up because they did put their own private information out there when they initially launched this video. 
and this is why I get on a lot of people for being stupid, is because you need, if you're going to record and put something out there, think about it before you do it. Plan and try not to capture your own personal identifying information that could put you at risk for identity theft and then publish it without realizing it. Something he's fixed in this video, I noticed, it, but it took a while to get fixed. But nonetheless, be smart about it. Don't be stupid and go, oh, I filmed this, throw it out there. You put yourself at risk. You put yourself at harm. You might even put your loved ones at harm by doing that or in jeopardy. So let us go ahead and uh, we'll pick uh, this as a starting point right here. That I might go that might cause a disturbance while I document this. What do you mean document? I'm, I'm documenting. You can video for it here. Hey guys, do not record, 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 record here. Do not Why not? Turn your camera off. Why? Can't record in the federal building. Oh, yes, you can. No, I you got can. permission. All right. Step out here and take let a let look. Let me show you. No, I, I do. I got permission. No. Step right out here and have a look at that bulletin board on your way out. On my way out? Yes. Come on around. What's that, sir? Read. Okay, I'm going to stop here for a second. Someone asked me about POTS arrest. I don't have enough information to conclusively say that uh, he was in the right or wrong. In my opinion, a uh, pissed off taxpayer was in the right to be able to record in the lobby of the police station. Um, I don't know of any existing laws in that state that would deny him that ability to record in the police station lobby. Um, and as is, uh, I'll have to cover that a little bit more specifically because I'm going to touch upon this issue when I go over the Eighth Circuit, when I can get around to it, that is going to be a very lengthy um, video. Actually, it's probably going to be a live stream, to be honest. It, it's going to take me a long time to go through of all that because I'm going to be looking at a ton of citations um, with that issue. But it sort of also falls into a reasonable time, place, and manner restrictions kind of stuff. But in my opinion, uh, pissed off taxpayer shouldn't have been arrested for filming inside the lobby. But let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, go ahead and play this here. Read what? What's the say? Swear. Warning. This facility area is subject to video, surveillance, and recording. That indicates you're recording me. Okay, sir? There's no recording in the front of the building, sir. I do not see where that it is indicated. In fact, I have documentation that I can record in this building. I not only can record this building, but I can record the hallways, the public, Entries, foyers, and waiting rooms. Didn't you get the Department of the Homeland Security memo saying that I can? Yes, sir. Did you not get that memo? In 2010, the Department of Homeland Security issued a memo to the FPS indicating that federal buildings are okay to videotape, photograph. Okay, sir? Regard okay, I think I just saw something. Now, um, keep in mind... The Department... Um, here, I'm going to slow this down while it uh, plays through because he uh, as soon as he puts his hand up there but as I stated there is this is sort of a gray area but on top of that in a way it doesn't really apply too well now um, for some reason when I uh, uh, with the way I got my system set up if I blow something up it gets a little bit blurry on the full screen uh, I know a few people have been able to like take this and put it at the maximum, like take videos and put it on the maximum resolution and get clear pictures than I can. But, uh, so this looks blurry on mine. If you have a better computer than what I got going on right now for a setup wise, this will probably come out a lot clearer. But if he is correct in pointing at this, this looks like it says photography. So this looks like there's an established policy, security policy against photography inside the building. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll continue this here. Okay, sir. Regardless, that's policy. Policy is not law. Now, this is where he's probably incorrect on the statement because, as it says, security regulations, rules, orders, directives apply. See? So this sort of, it now, it now turns into... Okay, is this a proper regulation that's in, pl in pl uh, play here? So let's go ahead and continue here. 
What's he say? Policy is not law, sir. It says right here, federal law prohibits picture taking in or on federal property without the verbal expression or consent of the authorized official of the occupied agency. So we're going to ask you one more time. I have got mm -hmm. consent right here. Let that me see. tells me. Let me see. It. 2010 Department of Homeland Security memo, sir. That allows me to videotape this building towards the bottom. It indicates where I can. Now you guys are misinformed and you're going by policy. Policy does not affect me, sir. Now I demand you let me go back in there and finish my business and document it as I'm able to do. Exterior. Right here. Right down here in the bottom, sir. Right down here. It tells me where I can photograph. This is a 2010 memo, sir. I am lawfully able to do my documentation. Go ahead, sir. Okay, and right now you are prohibiting my First Amendment right to free press. And I must advise you, sir, that if you continue to prohibit this, you are subject to federal laws. Except where security regulations, rules, orders, or directives apply on the federal court order. Sir, read it as much as you want. Yes, sir. I have permission. See, and the security guard just read out the, the first opening line, the exclusions right there. So I think the security guard is right on this one, um, on this specific issue. Um, though this is something that's going to have to be obviously uh, argued out in the, the legal realm. It's going to have to go to really court if we want to see a pushback in this specific issue. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at that. If you guys want to check it out, the description is in the YouTube video. Or if you're watching on another thing, you should be able to type it in from uh, the top here. You just need the the watch portion. Uh, you don't need the, the feature share there. Um, all the way back. And you'll be able to go ahead and look that up. But as, I can, as you can see here, it is not exactly all crystal clear and even we can get it uh wrong and all that stuff it was declassified 2010 let's see here um let's see what the chat says uh place they attacked the lady oh 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 this is the same place where they attacked the, the lady oh all right wait the lady or you mean the guy that they shoved over personal info being in the video on whichever channel it mirrored it Let's see. It's not 2010 memo. It was declassified in 2010. Uh, they should not have searched him. The big problem. $5 from Josh. Oh, oh, here comes the beep beep. Everyone subscribe to P&P. &P. He's just getting started. Respect from Indiana brother. Beep beep. And the security. Well, security does not get the search. That's dependent on how that happens if it's a required entry to a certain port uh, a secured area they can do a search if it's uh happening like if they pull someone out of the building or whatever and they they can't sit there and search them outside if, if they like there's limitations on when they can do a search and yes security in most applications cannot search someone they don't have the legal rights to do that that is correct in that aspect um but as is we need to be sort of smart about this we need to apply uh, think about the laws that are being applied read them and we can easily have uh, discussions and debates on how they apply it would be nice to sit here and have someone disagree with me and we sit there and hammer it out but the thing is is as is i'm not a lawyer so i can't tell you be aff affirmative on how exactly everything's right or wrong with this but i can tell you this much I'm pretty sure the security guard is right in this situation with the filming aspect. If they got to already have a bulletin, they probably got a proper uh, a written down somewhere, a security regulation or something like that, or policy that applies to that area, which would be valid underneath this CFR, which is at the core of this 2010 DHS memo. On top of that, I want to point out this DHS memo came about from a court case where a guy got arrested 
a journalist got arrested in the courtyard slash plaza of a federal courthouse twice. This did not deal with someone getting arrested inside a courthouse, inside a federal building. This happened outside in the public area. This basic section right here that deals with the CFR here deals with inside matters, does not deal with outside matters, which is part of the reasoning why you have this entire second and third page here that talks about what you they can and can't do when it comes to the, like the filming of the outside. So keep this in mind. If you're in a public place on the outside, you're good to go. This easily covers your butt on that aspect. When I was filming on the outside of the, U uh, the Eugene Federal Courthouse, when the U.S. Marshals came up to me, guess what? My case is not too far off from the case that started this DHS memo. And part of the reason why we're looking at uh, a potential uh, court case here uh, involving my thing, uh, my incident there. But as is, when you walk inside, you start stepping into a whole new bound of regulations and security policies that you need to keep keep in mind and do your research on if you're going to be doing that aspect. So, I hope you guys learned some stuff. Oh, and hey, uh, Claudia Sierra. Let's see, just getting started. Yeah, you're, you're starting to kick it up. It's summertime, man. PMP, you better be getting out there and doing some filming. Uh, yeah, that's true. He's got a bunch of people to work with. So, anyway, let us go ahead and move on to some fun stuff. Let's get into some drama. I, I know drama gets people's mouths watering because they love conflict. And you guys are going to learn a little bit about my political stances. Some of you may be upset. Some of you may be, oh, oh he's got a point. And some of you just might go down, right? I'm going to unsubscribe. I never want to talk to you, you little bastard. I don't blame you if you take that route. It's, everybody's got their opinions on this kind of stuff. It's all over the place. But what it starts off with and this is the uh, the lining context while surfing around on the internet well on reddit here i had learned uh through another subreddit that there was a um, rules change uh site wide that dealt with not safe for work content and i end up uh, pointing out that it can in it impacts heavily on people that like anime manga and do fan art kind of stuff and it's quite interesting, and I point out the um, the big, huge changes within this. The Reddit, uh, and I'm going to just read this entire thing, but put emphasis on the parts that uh, actually have the big impact. <clears throat> Reddit prohibits any sexual or suggestive content involving minors or someone who appears to be a minor. This includes child sex, uh, sexual abuse imagery, child pornography, and any other content including fantasy content, example, stories, anime, that encourages or promotes pedophilia, child exploitation, or otherwise sexualizes minors. Depending on the context, this can, in some cases, include depictions of minors that are fully clothed and not engaged in overtly sexual acts. If you are unsure about a piece of a con uh, content involving a minor or someone who appears to be a minor, do not post it. Best practices for reporting sexual or suggestive content involving minors. If you see content that you believe violates this policy, please report it. Being sure to include information below. A link uh, to where the content may be found on Reddit. A brief description, uh, a description of the issue. Now, I go on to further point out that the, the parts that I emphasized throw up major red flags. In general, Due to the fact that quite often when you have anime, they involve characters that range um, under the age of 18 for the general kind of stuff, where they could be in a fully clothed state, but not in a, well, and not in an overtly sexual pose or act or something like that. They, they get very pervy with their stuff. It's just a different, um, how should I put it? It's a different morality, sets of moralities that are over there. They had a different sets of laws that deal with this kind of stuff. 
They, they just have a different outlook on life compared to over here in the United States. In fact, there's huge contentions since the 80s on how anime and manga and stuff like that, stuff from Japan, Japanese animation, Japanese art depictions, um, don't go well with the United States sort of standard morals kind of thing. The, the morals that you have from like the religious right and stuff like that, the Puritan kind of stuff. In fact, we are very um, anti-sexual kind of stuff where they aren't over there as much, but when it comes to violence, we're very open to violence where they are very against violence, uh, violent imagery and stuff like that, where it's more censored over in that in some regards, unless it's straight up uh, designed for adult taste. Um, which a, a good example would be the anime, uh, an, well, this animated series uh, Berserk, which is a very bloody, a very violent uh, thing, but that is meant for adults. That is not meant for kids or teenagers. But when it comes to like teenager um, to uh, young adult kind of material over there, it, there you're going to have like uh, the pervy kind of stuff, but it's sort of like fan service for those kinds of people over there. And it's like, oh, okay, they did that. It, that's how it is on that. So after I did this post uh, on here, letting a, li a wider, another subreddit know about what's going on, which the, threw up a huge actual quite debate kind of thing or a discussion within this subreddit that spawned over 100 comments uh, today. And I put this up 20 hours ago. Well... Let's go ahead and zoom up to here. Spez Akabar. KIA gets mad about child exploitation being banned. Well, this isn't about child exploitation. This is about fictional arts. This is about dealing with uh, fictional things. Stuff that is even legal here in the United States. It's legal in Japan, it's legal in the United States because the freedom of speech laws, which covers, freedom of speech does cover art, has huge wide berths. Now, if you're in a country, which I sort of mentioned in this thing, like Canada or Australia, this kind of stuff is actually illegal. If it's something that looks like it's underage, whether it's being a story or art, it would be considered, it'd be classified as child pornography. It's made illegal in those countries. And it, it could be in a few other Western countries. It's hit and miss depending on if they even have laws on this. Well, it, it, it's sort of hilarious how they sit there and mischaracterize it. And what's even better is, is it still up? Okay, earlier it was actually, uh, it was tagged um, as uh, a moderator pinned kind of thing, where a moderator actually pinned it up high. And I didn't even know this happened. This happened like eight hours ago for a couple hours. And then someone decides to tag me in saying, hey, yo, uh, I, can you explain yourself about this? And so uh, this person annoys the goys. I don't understand what the problem is. And I go ahead and I lay out a really good argument here. As someone who has seen very broad laws being abused, and when I'm referring to this argument right here, this is where I'm talking about the, um, re how should I put it, the public disturbance laws. How they go after uh, people that are filming and stuff like that. Like, uh, Bankai is a victim of a very broad law being abused to go after him. Public disturbance. And all he was doing was filming. <clears throat> and so, this is, and so you're going to love the, the rest of this. I don't see uh, like seeing very broad rules that will be abused and not evenly enforced. I enjoy certain animes like Mon uh, Monogatari uh, Monogat uh, series because the character development and dialogue banter between the characters, with one of the main uh, with one of the main character being Shonobu, whose appearance changes with her power level. And I give three examples of this right here, and it's true. She, ha she is quite the interesting character because she is like uh, a couple hundred year old vampire. This is her normal uh, kid appearance when she's weak. This is when she looks more like a teenager. She gets a little bit more powerful. And this is her like souped up form. This is when she's fully powered up and gets in a huge giant fight in the anime. Well, in one of the uh, movies. Let's see. Her power level. 
but is several hundred years old and acts like a young adult. She acts more like a, a young adult that's like around the late teens, early 20s, like 18, 19 years old to 20, 21 kind of thing. She's got that kind of a personality to her. So let's have some fun, find a scene where these uh, new rules apply. This is a good scene screenshot. I cite the uh, specific episode from that series where in this scene, she's actually sucking blood from the other character so he can, uh, the closer he gets to death, the stronger he becomes because he's part vampire um, at this portion of the series. There's reasoning behind what's happening here. It's part of the story. <clears throat> Let's see here. Of this episode where she is sucking blood, according to the rules laid out it, um, out of this shot, this would be banned because, and I cite, this, in, uh, in, um, this can in some cases include depictions of minors that are fully clothed and not engaged in overtly sexu sexual acts. And someone who appears to be a minor. Well, guess what? In that scene, she appears to be a minor. So if someone wanted to go ahead and take a picture of this, uh, a screenshot of it and put this up on Reddit, this would technically be against the rules right here. And then I say, we can also apply innocent fan art like this citation, which it can look sexualized if you look at it and depending on your lens. Um, if you really want to push, uh, push the subjectiveness of a broad wording, not engage in overtly sexual acts. So, and, and then I go on to, if you want to see a different but similar kind of example on a broad but not evenly enforced rules causing damage, check out the current ongoing, uh, un, um, ongoing and unfolding drama around the Twitch rules change that will be uh, that was pushed back from February 19th to sometime in March, which has um, I should say has I did some typos here. Many streamers on edge, including big names like Destiny and Harmful Opinions, it is no secret Twitch, uh, Twitch admins don't evenly enforce their rules, and it will be interesting to see how it turns out in the future with lawsuits like Phantom Lord v Twitch playing out, with the uh, respective citations for these. Now, what's even funnier is, of course, annoys the goys. That's a lot of words for saying you want to fuck a little kids. I can't, uh, I really want, uh, don't, I didn't need the distinguished visual thanks. This trash should be banned and you all should rot in a cell. It's usual bullshit. I want to pick a fight kind of thing. And I, I go at it on here a little bit, back and forth. And then someone points out, which is even funnier, um, it's up here. Uh, for those who are unaware, uh, user Spets Akabar and Annoys the Goys would be okay with Reddit banning all anime. Uh, this is uh, who you're upvoting. And of course, they give some other citation here, which I'm not exactly sure how it applies. And then Annoys the Goys, thanks. To clarify, I mean complete ban, not just Reddit. They want to ban all anime from the internet or something like that. And in which case, I go ahead and issue a challenge. I would love to take these uh, guys on blood sports. And as is, we're waiting on me and, uh, well, Spets uh, Akbar complete. to get back with me. Oh, what do you know? My headphones are finally charged. So they just gave me the notification on that part. So that is the fun little drama I'm getting myself into. Let's see. I'm looking for videos from Australia, but only find old ones. Uh, lucky for him, we live in Australia. <laughs> Let's see, uh, she watches a lot of these videos. Okay, I guess there's not really much on this. I spy with my Kakistani eye Crunchyroll. That is correct. I do watch Crunchyroll. Actually, um, I, I rolled over my subscription over to Verve, but I still watch stuff on Crunchyroll there because I still have my entire like playlist of uh, stuff I want to watch here and there. I just, I'm really far behind on catching up on anime. There's some stuff I want to watch. <clears throat> But, so maybe we might in the future, either it'll be like on the Morning Kumite or some other platform, or if it doesn't work out, I might uh, be having a verbal back and forth with this guy who loves to call me a pedo or uh, all that stuff. It wouldn't, in all fairness, I'm not a pedo. No, I'm wanting even applying of the rules. Reddit has proven themselves not to evenly enforce the rules by banning, uh, going after certain subreddits um while not affecting others this one probably being one of the examples where uh 
uh, they get away with doxing and stuff like that and doing uh, voting raids on other uh, subreddits and kind of thing. They don't get slapped around by the rules, but at the moment, a certain subreddit does it without uh, any, um, how should I put it? Um, that they don't like, the Reddit admins don't like, they will shut down quickly. And so there's certain subreddits that literally are overly paranoid with the reason for uh, not uh, for like going nuts on rules violations. It's just like, no, it's not us. Uh, we literally took care of this problem kind of situation. Where it happens on another subreddit, nothing even happens to the uh, moderators or anything like that. There's no one admonishment. So, and, and the similar kind of thing happens with Twitch. Twitch isn't not really great of a platform, especially with their new rules changes rolling out here soon. Where... It will be interesting to see how long my account with uh, BBI continues going on with Twitch and um, see how all that works out on the long term for rules kind of thing. I mean, they might try to come after me and say, oh, uh, I'm doing self-harm to myself or I'm harassment or something like that for filming public officials. It, it will be interesting on the long run. And what I'm doing is like just I, I'm testing the waters for a lot of other people before saying, okay, this is an okay platform to use. As is Twitch, I don't really say is a really great one, but if you need to back up live streaming, you're doing multi live streaming like what I do, why the hell not? Set it up to uh, the, do it on there. As is, I am streaming the Mixer, Periscope, Twitch, and YouTube all at the same time. So if something happens while I'm out filming by myself, at least it will be backed up. It'll be hard to have all four of those shut down in one shot. It'll take quite a bit. It takes quite a bit of effort to, to flag something where it gets removed and it'd be difficult to recover that footage of a live stream. More so, especially since uh, the way I got my settings going with YouTube and all that. So do you guys have any comments about all the fun little drama I just covered here? It looks like PMP is going to get a nap there. I also believe people here have no clue. It is legal to film. If you're referring to over in Australia, I wouldn't be surprised on that. And I'm pretty sure it's late at night and all that stuff, but I know people will be trying to watch this in the morning or whatever and go, oh, what does Buddy Boots Inc. got going on here? <clears throat> also, I just recently picked up a new filter for my damn uh, water jug thing, so I'll be drinking more water now. <laughs> I've been drinking a ton of soda this last uh, month. I need to cut down on that. All right. <clears throat> so, let us get into video editing let's have some fun with that stuff what do you think and um we're gonna go give me a minute here to i'm gonna play some music while i uh set up the uh i gotta do some adjustments on my streams uh well stream title information for mixer and uh, twitch there so it accurately applies to what i'm doing now YouTube will just be its thing. Uh, what shall we play next? Uh, looking for something good here. Oh, we'll do this one. Drifting My Own Thoughts by TechnoX. like the categories on Twitch and stuff like that so that's current so people don't pop in and go what the hell are you doing and I got to do similar over on the mixer here and if you guys want to help me out and seeing uh, how the at least the paid aspect of Twitch works I need more subscriber. well, I need more followers on Twitch. So if you guys are on YouTube and want to take the time to help me out, um, make a Twitch account and uh, give me a follow on Twitch. As soon as I can get hit 50 followers, I can put in for the affiliate account 
and then I can give a proper report at some point about the, uh, what is it, um, proper thing on how that all works. And so maybe maybe things turn around. Twitch works okay. They are they're friendly to us. Um, we'll be able to maybe push more in that direction with the right people. And let's see here. And I need to save this. That should update that. Yep, that works right. Uh, that's up to date. That's up to date and still going. And hopefully I'm not putting anybody to sleep with this. But, um... Let me check the volume levels here. Yeah, I'm gonna turn down the music a little bit and let it play. It's a good, nice, relaxing tune. Heck, we might even play some other tunes a little bit later here. There we go. We'll let this finish playing out. But when you load into Hit Films after you get logged in, it, it, as you can see, you got all this little paid stuff that they go going on, and they can uh, give you up to date information. But we're just going to go ahead and start a new project. And you get brought into here. I'm just going to go with this basic 720p kind of setup here. And I'm going to start editing. And let's then get it loaded up here. And this is the default setting kind of thing. This is your main viewer. This is a trimmer. I'll go into how that works. You have your little audio meters over here. And there's extra little features too. There, there's a let's see, a processor kind of thing. And you got a track editor for the various kinds of tracks. But we don't need these right now. In fact, we're probably not going to work with them today. So what we need to do is make sure we're on the sub tab here, media. And now I am going to drag and drop several things into here. Okay. So I'm going to pull this into here. I'm going to pull this into here and it's going to take a moment for these to load in. And this one, and I know I, did I not just tell this thing to, okay, that should have been loaded in here. You'll have to forgive me. I think something didn't load up properly. It's also going to take a moment for um, this to take, pull in the files and uh, put it into a uh, process it properly. It didn't freeze up on me. As you can see, it's slowly running them in there. And I got a fairly powerful computer. Technically, you shouldn't be doing video editing and rendering at the same, uh, well, editing while broadcasting at the same time, because you're competing now with processing power. <laughs> it falls asleep. Let's see here. And... Oh. I think I figured out what was going on here. Okay, yeah. I didn't see the right thumbnail. So, here we go. Now, me and uh, Mike Blue here... Uh, we're putting together some like background stuff just to have people... Uh, have something else to look at here. And all you, can, all you have to do is like just drag it and you drop it in here. And I'm going to go ahead and you can right click or you can right click on this. Transform and we're going to fit this to frame. There we go. And I'm going to hit play on this bar. Oh wait, no, this is wrong one. I grabbed the wrong one. Delete this. Okay, this is the one I needed to drag in here. Oops, I... Okay, there we go. Anyway, so pretty much this is the basic little image here that we got going on. And I'm just going to scoot this over to the side here. 
Whoops, okay, and then hit play again. And this is just going to be a silent thing that plays in the background, but I'm wanting to add more to this. And this is just sort of supposed to set up as a loop roll kind of thing. Well, we're going to add some additional silent footage to this. So let's go ahead, let's take a look at some stuff from the bonus army I wanted to add to this. Um, and what happens, you can click on this, and this is what is known as a trimmer. So you can preview various kinds of footage here. And look for something that you want. And actually, right around here looks a little bit interesting. I'm going to slide this over to this. Triumphs in 1917 and 18. No. <laughs> uh, all right. Here, right here. Actually, this is a good spot here. Only before the Undertaker gets it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and hit this button right here. What this does is it automatically jumps the uh, start point to here. I'm going to play to a point where I want it. I know who's made this country worth living in. It's just you fellas. Look. Okay. Now I'm going to back this up because I don't want this part here. I want the part where the guy's standing on the car. Okay. This is good enough. So this is what I want. I'm going to drag it down to here. Now I'm going to add it. And then, actually what I'm going to do is mute the audio because we're not needing the audio for this. This is going to be a silent playing thing in the background. And for those of you who are familiar with like uh, what you saw in the morning Kumite kind of thing, they have this kind of artificial thing playing on the background. And then, okay, so we're going to need to do some work on this thing here. So we're going to go ahead and fit this. Um... Actually, you know, instead of doing that, because if I fit it to frame, it's going to stretch it out wrong. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to controls, go to the transform, and with the scale property, I'm going to click and hold on the 100 here. I'm going to slowly increase it until I get it to the size I want it. It's going to be roughly right about here. There we go. And so we don't distort or anything like that. This is the uh, right uh, the aspect ratio that I was filmed in, with the, which is I think four by three for the uh, uh, pre HD era with the TVs and all that. And uh, thank you. Um, give me a second here. What my dashboard said. Uh, thank you, Rambler, for three nine zero for following me over on Twitch. And as, as I stated, I mean. The quicker I can get over that, uh, past that 50 follower mark there, because I meet all the re other requirements, I can apply for the affiliate status, and I can look at the contract and see how that works out and see if that um, maybe there might be a uh, a benefit for auditors and cop watchers and stuff like that to stream to Twitch and all that stuff. And I'll, I'll go I'll go over that in uh, more of a detail when I can get to that point and say, hey, is this good? Is this bad? Kind of thing. Um, I do have my stipulations. It might come down to where the contract might have to be negotiated or I might have to wait till I get to a certain size and go for like a partner status, which requires way higher details. And I don't even know if I'll ever reach those po that point of having an average of 75 concurrent viewers at any time. Let's see, uh, JP Black, I think Black, uh, Blackable mirrored your video. Try to contact Blackable to have him remove one, uh, the one he mir mirrored. Uh, yeah, um, oh, JP, the help from, of many people will see me as a better performer. Yeah, uh, yeah, as is the criticisms, uh, I love you out. I do with, uh, a reason to help. Hopefully you'll improve and learn from the lessons that I, uh, at least uh, the criticism that I give. I'm not trying to be mean, especially on you. I know you're new, uh, J, uh, J Payne, because you only got that one video out there. And you did a decent job for arguing your point. You just didn't fully understand all of the, how that applies if you go back and watch that. Um, but uh, as is, what you got going on with the inside there, very muddy waters. It's be careful how you tread, man. Um, I don't want to see you get screwed over um, on in stuff that you don't understand and suffer consequences for it. How many Twitch followers are am I at? Okay, well, actually, you know what? Let me... Uh, let me add in a little ticker here because I actually made a, uh, uh, where is it here? 
Um, I made a little tracker for that. And thank you, um, dang it. thank you, Danny0000 for the follow there. Uh, let's see here, goals, follower goal, and I will copy, and I'm going to put this in the window that we're looking at right now. You'll just have to give me a second here. Add a browser source. And I need to do a new updated thing on how to use OBS because I changed up so much. Um, let's see, we'll do 12. Hundred. We'll just need to make that three hundred. Okay, there, there we go. Okay, at the top of the screen that will be showing up is where we are currently at, and what I want, and the fifty uh, mark. So we're roughly fourteen short. We're fourteen short on that follower goal. And if I get past the, I don't, I need to get a little bit past the 50 mark, like a little bit past that. And then I'll be able to apply for that. If you guys want to help on all that stuff. Um, as I said, anybody that's uh, watching the live stream or watching afterwards. And I, I'll, hopefully uh, J Payne, um, also the message I sent you, you got that. Uh, I did notice that uh, the point that I uh, knocked out, uh, uh, message you about is no longer up. So. Oh, nothing much, uh, Mr. Timebuster. I am just now going over some uh, video editing with hit uh, hit films for something I'm going to have playing for uh, strategic non-compliance later today. And um, I went over some stuff about DHS memo earlier on YouTube and um, how that how people need to look at that and quit being stupid with it and where it applies and where it doesn't apply. And then some drama that I went uh, that brewed uh through uh, up yesterday so let's go ahead and um let's take a look at this video here because i want to throw in some like protest stuff and i'm going to be expanding more on this a little bit later but i'm just getting some examples of footage to throw in there people do protesting exercising their rights and stuff like that um And there's going to be all kinds of stuff, whether it's going to be peaceful, there may be clashes and stuff, because we need to also emphasize some of, like, Mike's standards here uh, with protester clashes, too. But I want to, I'm just grabbing some stuff initially right here. Let's see here. Um, not looking for that. And I grabbed some Civil Rights Era stuff, and I thought I saw something in this video that I wanted to grab. Uh, I think uh, well, right in here might do good. Yeah, this sort of looks like a good start right here. I'll throw in this sort of. Yeah, a little bit more. Okay, this looks good enough for a short clip here. And I just, of course, drag it and bring it over here. And we'll see how this sort of transfers over. And oh, we need to also fix this one too. So we'll run over to the controls. And once again, do like what I did before. Just grab and sort of hold down the left click on this. Expand it till it's right there because Let's say I, I decide, okay, I, I don't do this mode. Let's say I want to transform it, fit the frame. Whoops. Yeah, that doesn't look like it. Everybody's now super fat and all that stuff. So you can go over to the history tab here. And just go back and fix that back up. And there you go. Okay, so Heartgrove apparently got it mixed up. Uh, he's going to... Uh, He's trying to help you out, so hopefully that uh, gets all taken care of, guys, there. And then let's take a look at this one, because there's different interesting aspects. I, I grabbed, uh, like, two videos of the uh, 
uh, what is it, the Veterans Bonus Army, which is actually quite an interesting uh, history to tell uh, where a bunch of veterans uh, ca uh, camped out on, the, it was like Capitol Hill, um, in protest. And the, mili uh, the United States military was sent in to break them up. Once I built a tower... Let's see here. Uh, well, it's many Americans in their government. The campaign began when ex-Army Sergeant Walter Waters led 300 veterans out of Portland, Oregon. Their goal: to claim a bonus for their military service. Let's see here. Um, there is some really good footage in here. Oh, right. That march looked pretty good here. Hold on. Communist organizers around the country announced that the bonus march had been their idea. Although there were never more than 200 communists in the bonus army, their presence in Washington worried many in the government. Let's see here. I'm on the march. And badly led in marching upon Washington to collect a debt which is not due at this time and which the Congress does not propose to be coerced by any groups, veteran or any other, into voting a bonus bill in the present session of Congress. The okay. bonus would cost more than the government would take in that year. Can Let's suspend this so I can actually sort of mess with this bar a little bit better here. Where was that marching scene? There's no way I passed that Martian scene already. Let's see here. We'll see if we can find another good marching scene in here. Although Washington and the U.S. military were still strictly segregated. Actually, let's see here. What's I'm liking this little spot Living here. Living side by side. Although Washington... Okay, we'll start here, and... The U.S. military was still strictly segregated. There was a sort of a leveling process. As we'll back this up a little bit. There we go. And we get to throw this right into here. And then we'll uh, look at this and increase its size real fast. get that to matching right about here and there we go and if you guys got like a, a specific video or something like that you want to see possibly thrown into this mix as it's playing in the background let me know when I'll maybe I'll look at it and see if it's good veterans bonus army got screwed the US government screwed them over yeah it sounds like pretty much what happened there let's see here let's go ahead and have this because what's interesting is they built they did like a, a encampment kind of thing and just like took over a hill area I mean just a general area and set up a camp and similar to like Occupy Wall Street there at one point wait oh wait what do we got here this looks like some good the greatest concentration of fighting troops in Washington since 1865 I knew something was going to happen that they might Ooh, I like that tank rolling in. Let's see here. Let's try to get that tank roll, uh, added in. Yeah, so sit here and do this. Because it's... Oops. No, 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 no. I need to back it up front. And these arrows right here, these do a frame-by-frame -frame backup. Okay, so... Got that tank in there. We'll let this play. Since 1865. I knew something was going to happen. Yeah. Alright, so we'll back this up just to right about there. And we'll end that and then throw that in there. And then of course we'll go into the controls. And transform this to be a little bit larger. And so we added a little bit more time to this looping kind of setup here. And then we're going to go back to media and we're going to bring in the original 
thing that we had here. And now we have a two minute looping of this that will sort of repeat its same kind of thing. And I'm going to eventually build more and more, add more to this. And I'll slide stuff in, move it around. And I'm going to do this several times. But since we got the basic, I, I took something that was just going to go around in the background for a little bit. Um, we're going to go ahead and just say this is good enough for right now. And um, what I'm going to do now is go down here. I'm going to go export to in and out area. And I'm going to go to the export area. And as is, what you need to do is make sure you select the right setting for the situation. Now, you have some pre-done ones here. And then there's a, a couple custom ones that I made with this. And this one, I'm going to do a 760, um, 720 at 30 frames per second. I'm going to click on this. This goes to my uh, temp render file area. And it's going to take a second to get the hard drive ward up. And then I'm going to call this one SNC background um, animation one, because this is the first iteration. Hit the save. Now I'm not sp really supposed to be doing this while also uh, uh, live streaming because the processor power that gets taken up. But for fun and tense purposes, we're just going to go ahead and do this. It could screw with it. We don't know. We'll find out. I'm going to hit start down here. Now it's going to start processing. Does it tell you how long it took? How long it's going oh, well, has taken so far? How long it's expected? I usually add on 20% to the time it displays for anything that you're doing over 10 minutes. And that gives you a pretty accurate idea of how long this is uh, going to take. Don't laugh, Boots. I watched that march live on TV when I was around 6 or 7 years old. Wow, dang man, you've been you got to see a lot of stuff. The veterans of uh, for that. I wish I noticed your comment earlier. Yeah, I, uh, how should I put it? I with the fall of the Berlin Wall. I actually saw that when I was two years old. Hey, bunny, pay attention. Black Coat Media. Okay, what about Black Coat Media? Are they live streaming right now or something? Uh, I'll look at my my subscriptions real fast and see what's going on. As soon as my browser quits acting up here. And keep in mind, once you start video processing, everything runs slow. I don't see Black Coat Media live streaming right now so I don't know what you want me to pay attention about Black Oak Media and it's gonna take a little bit here but uh, and it can't, can't really do anything uh, if you click on anything uh, any other stuff it's gonna try to say you want to suspend because you have to stay on this screen but you're able to like tab out and do other things this shouldn't take too long to render out, and then uh, I'll be able to set it up where you guys will be able to see it and uh, see what the work is, and hopefully it doesn't turn out too buggy or anything like that. Blocked you for telling the truth. Well, I can't do anything about that. How other people manage their channels and their chats is up to them. If they block you, they block you. I have my own blocks too but I rarely hand them out and as is the moderators I think the wrenches that I have at best at worst can only um, how should I put it they can only uh, time you out for like uh, five minutes or ten minutes there live stream earlier last uh, earlier wait earlier last night yeah I saw that uh, I was actually awake for seeing that I was watching the, I, I sort of tuned in for a little bit on the live streams but I end up uh, having to hop off and deal with some other stuff okay so we got that rendered out and so let me get this set up to where you guys will be able to see it now 
Now it'll take me a minute to load up this thing. Okay, here we go. I got to pause this. And now I just got to set it up in OBS to where you guys will be able to see it. And I'll show that. Let's see here. Oh, let me Let's see here. I need to uh, fix this also. Um, browser source. Okay, there we go. Got that at the top now. And now to set up the window capture to capture this. Excellent. Okay. Wait, no, why did not. Oh, okay. I screwed that up, it looks like. Okay, here we go. And this is how it looks. We're going to go ahead and speed this up a little bit. This is probably uh, what, going two times fast there. And this is my, that little golden pulley thing. That's Mike Blue Hair's little joke thing. So if you have any issues with that, take that up with him, not me. And then I just realized I messed up on something here. Notice how it's going to five minutes. And now it's a straight black screen. Well, that's because I screwed up. So let me uh, bring us back to the uh, uh, other thing here real fast. Not that. Let's see, hit film. Here we go. We're going to go back over to the home project here or go to the edit. And I forgot to mention also, there's a little black bar or black silhouette thing on the edge or right here that is actually the ending cut of when it stops and so you need to adjust this depending on how long you want your video to be and if it goes if you stop short of that you need to shorten it until you get to the end of your video and before I forget I'm gonna need to save this now well, I'll save this a little bit later oh wait I, that will save in the right spot okay SNC uh, background animation. There we go. But you do that, and then when you render it once through, uh, well, render it, it'll be proper length and all that stuff. So there we go. Made a mistake. I'll fix that, and I'll render that a little bit later kind of thing. So that's pretty much all I really wanted to show you. How do you feel about censorship? Depends on what you're censoring. So, um, if you're censoring someone's, uh, private information to keep them from getting uh, attacked and stuff like that, I'm okay with that, but it's more or less, um, dependent on the laws that are around the situation. I, I don't like censorship in general. Do you know, uh, let's see, you know how, uh, you know, you have to summon her, Josh. Oh, okay. That's about someone else. But, uh. When it comes down to it, I, I generally, I hate censorship. I don't like it. But I can understand if people do self-censorship and stuff like that. Or they apply some censorship to the, uh, uh, give me a wrench and I'll show you Blitz. <laughs> I have no idea. But Josh, you know what? Since you've been such a big supporter, I am going to give you a wrench as you requested. Let's see here. Um, there you go. You now are blue. You have been wrenched. So I'm not even sure what you're going to do with the blitz, but hey, what comes that wrench is also responsibility. You're not supposed to go and silence people you don't like on here. If there's someone that's causing problems or something like that or posting something that's illegal, yeah, go ahead and wrench them if they're uh, doing something illegal. But otherwise, I'll, I'll be more or less the deciding factor if someone's going to get silenced or banned. I don't think you guys can ban anybody with a ranch. You can, just can uh, silence people. <laughs> oh shit, here comes the wrench throwing. <laughs> but how should I put it? I do self-censor certain videos for various kinds of reasons. Some of them have been obvious, like when I uh, 
blurred out my ID when I was handing it to the DHS uh, guy several, several, well, several years ago to where it may be subtle where I, uh, you might notice, notice that either the audios went out or it could be where I sped up the footage where you're not able to uh, hear what's going on. And if you go and try to too slow it down, it will be distorted and most likely you're not going to glean any kind of information out. Usually you won't be able to get anything. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. We have been streaming for a good almost 90 minutes. And uh, <laughs> Blitz, Blitz, you wrench. That's a good one. Um, call it a night. Is there anything you guys want me to look at before I call it a night? Or uh, say any last words? I'll give you a few minutes here. And I think, uh, you know, I want some... Speak mind, blitz, respect, funny, uh, what's the end funny? Your call. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Uh, but uh, what is it? I'm going to go ahead and set up some music while you guys sort of figure out. I am paying attention. I I'm watching the chat right now. And that's also why I'm sort of trying to figure out what I'm going to play next. Uh, let's do some Edge of Tomorrow here. Uh, where's my chat window again? I made it disappear. Just remember, Josh, there's no room for wrenches. And then we're all in BBI's pog. <laughs> that is good. That's good. Fun. I have a pimple on my butt that's bugging me. Ah, oh, those got those those kinds of zits and pimples suck. Where it's like in an annoying spot, it hurts or whatever bugs the hell out of you. Sucks when they get like underneath like the seam of your underwear or something like that, or where your pants are. One man squatter, you want a wrench? Okay, I guess I'll start wrenching some people. How about that? Man says something and no one moves around. Is he still wrong? Yes, because guess what? He is a man. Uh, but that's if a woman's able to uh, say it. <laughs> How about that one? Let's see, I believe I just wrenched. Uh... Yeah, got yeah, okay. Yeah, you got a wrench. Blitz, blitz. You want some? You, you want some wrench action? I'll, I'll, I'm gonna give you some wrench action. There you go. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna call it a night. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a night too. I at least need to get a few hours. Well, attempt to get a few hours of sleep and stuff. So. And as is, check out the store. Well, I need to work on some more stuff for the uh, clothing store and all that. And this is actually a lot louder than I was expecting it, so I'm going to turn it down. So many windows here. But, um, um, as is, check out the store. Check out Patreon. I try, I'm going to try to have some more First Amendment stuff out. I don't know if I'm out of footage yet or not. I think I still got enough for one or two more videos. Um... And um, stay tuned for Strategic Mind Compliance later today. We're going to have a fun guest. One that most of you probably be familiar with. They, because they, especially, they have honored their oath very well. And so, uh, as is, I will let us tune out with the music since it is a good night. And um, try not to stay up all morning or whatever get some rest if it's like three in the morning like for you like it is me and have a nice night or where's my solo there and get this set up transition notes oh okay. of course i screwed that up there we go 